Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 15. I'm starting a new series here called Pick One, Pack One. Don't worry, I'll get back to my EDH top 10s very soon. The white EDH list is almost done. Uh, this focuses, though, on limited play specifically, and more specifically, even booster drafts, in what I would pick or what is the best pick out of a recently opened booster pack. All of these selections of cards come from actual booster packs, and I've also taken some time to get some feedback from some other strong players here in the Seattle area. So you'll hear my opinion, and I may also be able to add in what some of the other strong limited players around here have suggested. Uh, limited play in M13 has been a lot of fun. Uh, so far, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, most drafts uh, I've done pretty well going undefeated or kind of 301 or 31. Although I did have one recently that bombed that I had horribly in, and I'll be doing a deck tech on that later to kind of point out what I learned from that also. Let's move on into the pack here. This is the pack as opened up the other day. I strongly recommend taking a minute, pausing the video try to choose what your top two or three cards would be for a pick so that you can see how close or how far off you are from what I would choose. I'm going to move on to the first thing that a lot of players do, which is to look at the rare to try to figure out if the rare is a good rare to play in limited. The rare that we've got here is Ground Seal. It is definitely a sideboard only card here with very limited application in sealed. Or you can discount this card right off at the very beginning as one that is not a high pick. Uh, with some of the rares, it's often a little bit difficult to figure out their power level because you'll have less experience playing with the rare. But this is a enchantment cantrip ability, maybe a very late pick. Uh, but not something that is a very strong early pick, especially with very little recursion in the decks as they are, and no real flashback in the main set. So let's move on and look at the rest of the pack. The first thing that I try to do is determine what the least uh, useful cards are, or those cards that I would not pick. I kind of move those to the back of the pack very quickly and start focusing on the rest. Um, these are the cards that I think have little to no playability in the limited environment currently. Um, Fog on here, there are several people who disagree with me. Um, Fog is a bit of a role player in a specific type of deck, but I often see it well overplayed. Um, it doesn't really affect the board state, and you've got to be ahead with the need for, for a single attack to really make this a good card. Um, Serpent's Gift, which is here, allows you to give Death Touch to one of your creatures. This is one of the least effective forms of removal in the current set. If this was a cantrip, I would consider it, but definitely not here. And Bountiful Harvest gives you one life for each land you control. This is really five casting cost off and only get five or six life. Life gain is usually not very good unless it's attached to a creature in some way. The not getting a body out of this card means that it often just delays your death by a turn. So these are all three cards that I easily move to the back of the pack and don't consider at all. Also, as you see, I've got Ground Seal here as one of the junk cards that I would not pick early at all. Then, and just to emphasize a little bit more why I don't care for Fog, is there are several better effects in the set. Let's compare this to Safe Passage, which is actually one of my favorite combat tricks in white, uh, safe passage prevents all damage that would be dealt to you and creatures you control this turn. So it's a one-sided fog and it prevents direct damage. This is several times better than fog at the same rarity. A little bit higher casting cost, but well worth it. Uh, safe passage is one of those mid picks for me where fog I usually avoid like the plague. Now this deck has a series of solid cards in it. Um, a race is definitely a good sideboard card. There are enchantments out there like Rancor and Oblivion Ring that are well worth removing. Show of Valor is a decent card. If you compare it to Titanic Growth, which is plus four plus four, it looks a little weak. But this has definitely saved a lot of my creatures and destroyed my opponent's creatures. Trumpet Blast is a bit of a role player. You gotta have it in the right type of deck, a very fast, aggressive deck. and. The M13 appears to be a little bit slower than I would say that 
Avacyn has been. So this is a little bit weaker in the current environment for Limited, but still a good solid card. Vidalkin Entrancer it plays really well in a mill strategy, but I, I think you really need either a Jace or a Sands of Delirium to make that strategy work. He's a decent blocker. I can see some people taking him a little bit higher than I would, but I, he often moves around the table a few times and definitely not a first pick for me. Um, Ravenous Rats is a card I definitely want one of and uh, is one that I would like to have a more syner synergy with. So if I already had a Primadox or some other way to return it to my hand and recast it a few times, I might move it up a little bit higher. The rings I'm going to focus on next because the rings do have some value and they are something that's been added new to the set. So let's focus on those rings specifically. Blue ring is one of the better rings. Uh, the ability to make your creature hexproof is great. Uh, plus one plus one also works really well with kind of the blue flying army that's out there. The red ring I am much less impressed with. The haste is only useful for one turn and you have to have an extra mana which often doesn't happen early on in your aggressive red decks where you're kind of curving out. The plus one plus one is still relevant but I would say it's a much weaker ring than the blue ring. The best of the rings is the black ring which adds regeneration. Although Overall, I have not been that impressed with these rings. It's good to maybe have one in a deck or two, uh, the blue and the black being the two preferred ones for me, depending on your colors. But I've also been two for one several times by turn to slag, which is a great piece of removal. Now, the blue ring does prevent that, but you have to have that mana available. So if you use it too early against a red deck, you can get you can lose two permanents and be behind pretty early on. So these the rings are strategically useful, but not amazing first picks. Now we're moving on to the first picks that I would recommend. These are by far the top three cards in the pack. We've got Oblivion Ring, Signed in Blood, and Essence Scatter. Uh, Oblivion Ring being removal, Signed in Blood being card advantage, and Essence Scatter also being a strong piece of removal in specific decks, especially if you can combine it with some Archaeomancers or a Agra Bolus so that you can fetch this so it also turns into card advantage. Uh, this is a tough pick for me. Uh, any of these three I'd be happy with. I really like Signed in Blood, um, but my personal choice would be Oblivion Ring because of its usefulness in pretty much any deck and because it doesn't commit me solidly to a single color. I can also use this as a support color. With Signed in Blood, I've got to be playing some pretty heavy black in order to get that to black, and I would like to stay a little bit flexible on that first pick, pack one. So this is it. The other thing that I try to do after passing is notice what did I pass that's really good to my left. The, there's a good chance that the person to my left is going to end up in either black or blue, and I should watch for that on the second pack as it comes back around, and not necessarily to expect those particular colors as one of them will probably be taken. Thanks, this has been Brian Rowe with a new series called Pack One, Pick One for Mythic MTG Tech. Please give me your feedbacks on what your top picks would be. Please feel free to disagree with these. I'm here to also learn from the community and hear what you think should be the top picks in this situation. Thanks.